on the front of your trailer is where your propane tanks are located. You do have an auto switch over valve. It is pointing towards the uh, passenger side tank, which means that tank is your main supply. Uh, when it is green in the center, that means that you do have propane in that tank. If it goes red, it means it has tried to switch over to the other tank. You do have a battery disconnect located down here at the bottom. So the key will come to the out when it's in the off position. So push it in, turn it to the on position. This should be on anytime that you're connected to hydro. If you are storing the trailer, that is when you want to turn that to the off position so your battery does not die. You do have four stabilizer jacks. There's one in each corner of the trailer. There is a three quarter inch crank inside the trailer for you. Your black water, so your black water is on the left hand side, big black handle. The gray water is the one on the right hand side, gray handle. Up, you have the city water connection. So this is where your hose is going to connect when you're camping. Directly beside it is your black water flush. This is a wand that is inside the black water tank, uh, allowing you to flush everything out uh, inside the tank. Your fresh water fill is located here. Just take that off, fill it full of water. Once the water burps out the top, that's when you know it's full. Your drain for this is located down here at the bottom. It's that little white nipple. Your power cord comes out of here. It is 25 feet of cord. It is a 30 amp cord. Cable satellite hookup is at the back. This is a flow through vent. Uh, so if you are carrying anything with fuel in it, you can open up to uh, get air. On the back of the trailer, you have two latches. They are both lockable so that you can open up the ramp door. On the side, we have two powers. So once you're plugged into trailer, you can have those outlets and that is a cable outlet for you. A sprayer port so that you can hook a hose up and you can have water. Your hot water heater, your control for this is on the outside of the trailer or inside, sorry. Uh, you have two outside speakers here as well. Up at the top, this is your range vent, and then a flow through vent up at the top as well. Your steps, so to open your steps, you just turn that uh, yellow lever to the left or the right. You have uh, two adjustment points, so there's a pin on the side, you just pop that pin out, and then all the holes are your adjustment. Inside, you have your radio. So your radio, just turn the power button on. Directly above that, this is your control center. Um, so this is where all your light switches are to control all the lights inside the trailer and outside the trailer. Uh, your water pumps button is the one on the left. Hot water heater, so you turn that on. When you turn that on, there's gonna be a fault light that turns on at the top. This is to let you know that it does not sense flame yet. Once it ignites, that will turn to the off position. Button here, this is for your power awning. So you just press and hold your button to let your awning go out. Once you see the flat come down, that's when it's all the way down. Right now it's just sticking on you, which is normal. So flap is straight up and down. That's how you know your awning is all the way out. On the counter, we do have all your uh, owner's manuals. Now we are going to put this in on the floor as soon as you come in. You have two sets of keys here as well. So your silver key is your outside compartment key. This purple key is your door key. And this gray key is for your back ramp door. Microwave is your standard household microwave. Your stovetop, so to use your stovetop, this here just flips up just like so and stands up at the back. You have three burners, so you can turn whichever burner you wish to turn on just by turning it and over to the flame position. You do have to push this valve in and use this sparker knob here. Only turn it to the right to ignite. Your oven, same thing goes. You do also have a button here so you can press to turn on your lights. At the back, so to create this into uh, storage, so right now it is set up as your dinette. So all you do is just flip your table up so that you can fold your legs. 
just folds up just like a regular banquet style. Now there is no uh, correct way on which order to do this all. Now for storage when you have toys we do recommend that you take these up to your front bedroom. Then all you do is your cushions would come off as well. Cushions again would go up to your front bedroom. Both sides are going to be the exact same. So once your cushions are off it just simply lifts up. There's the strap on the wall here. So it just goes and straps underneath to the hook. And then both these legs, you just push it on the dome and turn it just like so. And there is two of these legs on your unit. Up here in the top corner, this is where we have the screen located for you. It does go magnetized to the back door um, and gives you a zipper up the center. To set up your uh, uh, back patio, so you have two pins on each side. So it's the upper pin that you're going to remove on both ends. It just simply stands up and you put those pins back in to support it to the up position. You would then just grab a hold of your center and just lift up a little bit and it slides in and hooks into the center point. Just like so. In the plastic bag that is taped, to the corner post there that is where your two screws are to locate so you can lock up the, the patio your fridge operation fridge operation is pretty simple um, so all you have to do is right now it's in the off position you can flip it to the auto position it'll turn on it is now sensing to see if we have hydro if we don't have hydro the gas will come on just like it did so there and it will run it for you if you're not if you're plugged into hydro and you want it to use on gas you can switch to the gas mode only just like so, and your fridge will only run on gas. Your thermostat, so right now it's saying the fact that your thermostat is in the off position. So you turn it to fan. Kind of hard to see it there. Uh, right now it's fan high. There's cool high, cool low, cool low auto, cool high auto. And heat mode, so heat would turn on. Uh, furnace is going to light by itself and everything like that. In your bathroom, everything in your bathroom is pretty straightforward and simple. You do have a foot flush, so down on the right-hand side, you just push down on that lever. So far, we'll get you water. All the way, it will flush down. Behind your sink in the bathroom, this is your main GFI plug. Um, so if you don't have any hydro, you're going to just come here to reset the plug. Bedroom, everything in the bedroom is pretty straightforward and simple for you. Um, so each one of the lights, um, they all have a little button on them. Um, so when you go to use your light, you just have to press on the button. It does turn the light on and same thing to turn them back off. You do also have access to your front storage by underneath the bed. There's your spare tire and there is your three quarter inch crank and your crank for your power jack. You also have your storage buckets here as well. The strap across the front, we do recommend you put that on for travel. Otherwise, the buckets won't be there when you get to your camping site. If you have any questions on your trailer, you can give us a shout at 519-371-0370 or send us an email at info at terrystrailer.ca.